city. It's prayer time in our neighborhoods. Prayer time in our church. Oh, we have so much to pray for and to pray about. I want to pray for Sister Jelks this morning. She's having a little personal problem. I want to pray for myself today. This Tuesday, two days from now, I'm going to have surgery. Knee replacement left me. Pray that it's successful. Pray that shortly after that me and his cane who, who have become best friends I won't need him no more. Praise the Lord. And I want to pray for each and every one that's present here today. Pray for this pastor here. I want to pray for the church. Our church need revival. Somebody ought to say revival. God, let there be revival. God, let there be revival. God, let there be revival. And let it begin in me. Yes. Yes. Those that have a special request, just raise your hand. And as I pray, as I lead the prayer, I want everyone here to be talking to God. Yes. Tell the Father what you need. The prayers of the righteous availeth much with God. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come to thee bowed heads and humble hearts. We come in thanksgiving Lord, we pray for this, this church. Yes, Lord. We pray for each indiv individual. Special prayer for Reverend Wire, JL, and well as Reverend JT. We pray for Sister Jelks. We pray for those that are sick and shut in. Lord, we need you. We need you today, Father. We need you every hour. Oh, we need thee. For without you, we can do nothing. So, Lord, help us. Lord, we pray for revival. We pray for each member that's on road. That they might return to church. And as they come, Lord, let them come with an open mind and open heart ready, willing, and able to begin a service for them. We pray for the sick and the shut-in. Everywhere. Especially those that are members of Northwestern Community Baptist. We pray for them. Lord, help them to know that you were bruised and wounded for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace is upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed. AD, past tense, it's already.
already done. Yeah. So we're thanking you, Lord. We're thanking you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you will do. We pray for those that are in prison. Not only behind bars, but in the in the sanctum of their mind. Lord, help those that are ill emotionally. Those that don't know how to resist the devil. Lord, help them. Just as you protected your disciples in the garden against them, protect the disciples of today. Lord, we need you. We need you. Lord, we pray for this offering that we are about to receive. Lord, we need finance. Lord, you in the blessed business. Yes, Lord. Yes, you are. Help us to do what we we are supposed to do, Lord. That you might open the windows of heaven and bless us so abundantly we won't have room but to receive. Now lead us, guide us, and strengthen us throughout this day. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Our Father, amen. amen. As we, as I read, I want you to continue to stand. I'm going to read from the book of Proverbs, beginning chapter 12, beginning in verse 1. One through six. Moreover, whoever loves instructions, love knowledge. But he who hates correction is stupid. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. A man is not established by wickedness, but the root of righteousness cannot be moved. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who calls the same is like rottenness to his bone. The thought of the righteous are right, but the counsel of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked are lie in vain for blood, but the mouth of the upright will deliver them. May God add a blessing to the reading of and the hearing, to the reading and to the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.